Hey guys, Nintendo Fanboy for the win here, and today I wanted to show you guys how you can actually compile the latest build of PK Hex. Now, the reason why you would want to do this is, uh, there's a few pretty big reasons. The main reason is, as you can see right here, uh, as I'm making this video, it is uh, September 24th, 2017. The latest uh, build that you can download normally of PK Hex is 922, so that's from two days ago. Already, I can tell you there are about uh, at least a dozen new semi features uh, already implemented in PK Hex. Um, but besides that, tons of new um, changes to help with legality and other issues that people were having. Um, just a bunch of other stuff. Um, so obviously, you know, the creator of PK Hex, he can't, he's not going to put out a new version every every week, every day. It's you know, it just doesn't make sense. So he'll put it out every month or so, every two months, I mean, it really depends, or like on a major game release, so that type of thing. Um, so obviously this 922 release is uh, for the release of Gold and Silver Virtual Console, but since then, he's done a bunch of other stuff with that, a lot of balancing and all this other stuff that you're missing out on, um, and pretty much follow this tutorial and you should be able to get the latest version of PK Hex. So coming into PK Hex, um, you know, all you're going to want to do, first of all, is just Google PK Hex. You're going to want to go to GitHub, third one down usually. And as you can see, it'll probably look like this. Um, here's the latest uh, commit, and a commit is basically like a, a change on PK Hex. So, you know, if, if there was a legality issue or some issue that was fixed or anything was changed, you would see it here. Um, so, you, as you can see, the latest commit was three hours ago, which means you don't have this, obviously, in your, um, you know, normal uh, build version. You're going to want to get this through the newest version here. So, first, you're going to want to download, press download, press download zip, and then save this right there. Then you're going to want to come to this website, visualstudio.com slash downloads. I'll leave it in the... Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, Visual Studio is pretty much like a, a really good programming, you know, Microsoft's programming studio. Uh, and I'm, I don't know if, if the people that make PK Hex, I don't know if he uses it, uh, but I know the program is in Visual Studio. Uh, so basically, all you're going to want to do here, you download Visual Studio Community 2017, you click free download. Um, after, there's a one month trial and then after the trial you just need to sign in with a Microsoft account. Um, so once you're done signing in with the Microsoft account, uh, you'll have it for free for life. It's just they want to make sure you're signed in. So it's free for life um, and this is pretty much all you're going to need. So download that, install that. Once you're all finished, you might need to restart your computer or anything like that. Once you're all finished and you've downloaded the PK Hex, um, you know, the latest, I guess you could call it build or whatever you would call it you open up the zip or the RAR whatever it is you drag the folder out to any place your desktop downloads whatever usually takes a minute because there's tons of stuff in here okay and then you can delete the zip then you go into the PK hex master and right here, you'll see pkhex.sln. As you can see, it has the Visual Studio in uh, the uh, logo on it, so that's how you know it's also the Visual Studio logo. Um, and then once you come into here, once you come into here, you will see uh, the program on this side. Now, I don't. I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to do this. I, I'm not really sure, but uh, I usually I go to Build and then Build Solution, and then that'll build the entire thing. Then this usually takes a couple seconds. And then as you can see down here, it says build, three succeeded, zero failed, zero up to date, zero skip. Now if you get any of these problems, I would just check, uh, maybe re-download the PK Hex master folder or uh, check your Visual Studio, I'm not sure. But as you can see, it's three succeeded and nothing failed, nothing, anything, you know, so it's all good. Then you close Visual Studio. You're gonna to want to come to PK Hex Win Forms. Then you're gonna to want to go to Bin, and then Debug, 
and here you go. So now the only files that you need are pkhex and the pkhexcore.dll. So the DLL you'll see has the little gear on it and pkhex obviously looks like pkhex. Move those to your desktop or wherever and there you go, you are updated. So now double click on pkhex and there you go. You are in the latest version of pkhex. Um, other than that, I mean, there's nothing much to it. Uh, if you have any problems, let me know in the comments. I'll try to help anyone. And um, yeah, it's pretty much it. Like I said, guys, uh, you're, it's really advised that you do this because, you know, when they're, if you ever have any glitches or whatever and you want to, uh, you know, let the developers know or anything, it's a good idea to be using the latest uh, compiled version. Um, so my recommendation is if you're having issues or legality issues or whatever, compile the latest, latest version um, and then you're going to want to just see if you're still having that problem. If you are, report it to the developers. If you're not, then they obviously fix the problem. The problem is they don't know if you're using the compiled version or the normal version, so they don't know if the problem's already been fixed. And so it, it creates some confusion. And besides that, you're missing out on tons of features for months on end. So it, it my advice, update it every week or so or every day. I usually update it every day, every time I use PK Hex, or at least I'll stay in touch and look at what's going on, uh, see what features they're adding. Uh, this was actually the way that I originally found out over a year ago that they started supporting PK3s, so like Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, stuff like that. I literally just looked in the GitHub and I saw it said uh, Gen 3 support and all that stuff. And the build for that, the normal build, didn't come out for another month or two. So I had a, t a good two months being able to use Gen 3 and all this other stuff before people had it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.